Good evening, YouTube. This is Nick. That's, Ma Matt. That's Matt. Um, Sorry. Checking in with our uh, our weekly video here. Um, this week we decided to do a uh, a a pipe display. Uh, let's show off what we uh, we smoke each week. Currently, I'm smoking a Stanwell 63M that I got new. I love this thing. I reserve it for Orientals. And then we'll go through it here. Let's see. What we got. Hold on. I'm gonna put my pipe down or I'm gonna sound ridiculous. Alright. This is a uh, Baronet Bruyere by Savinelli. Um, I love the shape of this thing and it uh, its wide surface area really lends itself to a lot of Kia blends, so it's a dedicated English smoker. This is a La Rocca. Uh, Valerio something or other. It's kind of like a bent apple or bent Rhodesian or something. They rusticated the crap out of it, which is nice because it dissipates a lot of heat. And I reserved this one for cigar blends and heavy Englishes. This was an eBay find. Um, it's a an estate Savinelli uh, Punto Oro gold point. I love the sandblast on this one. It's my first. It was my first sandblast pipe. I need to find some way to clean up the stems. So if anybody knows a good way to like polish a stem or bring it, bring it back to black, this one's oxidized quite a bit. But this one's great, it's for American English blends. Um, this is an Estate Peterson Aaron 999 Bent Rhodesian, uh, reserved for vapors. It's got the system uh, bit on it, or not the system bit, the P-lip, that's what they call it. And uh, Reserved for vapors because I tend to uh, bite, you know, vapors tend to bite me, so the, the P-lip tends to uh, dissipate some of that heat. This is an Estate Sassiani Walnut Billiard. I love this guy. This is for, this is for straight Virginias only. Um, beautiful smoker. I love this one. Um, it's a Comoy's Silver Shadow. Uh, full Bent Billiard. I like that one. It's uh, reserved for Burley Blends. And not one of the best smokers. I think the drilling is a little off. Actually, when I got it, I couldn't even fit a full pipe, a pipe cleaner through it all the way. So uh, I had to kind of remediate with some drilling. But, um, you know, it does its job. This was my very first pipe, a Laraca Due. It's covered in lacquer or something, so it doesn't breathe very much. But it's a cheapie. And uh, it got me to purchase all these other ones, so I guess it's got its role here. And it basically gets anything I'm in the mood for. It's it's a non-designated -de pipe. This one my friend gave to me. Um, it's uh, I think it's a Barry second. It's from Denmark, I'm pretty sure. But it's kind of a no-name. And uh, it says Don Old Briar on it. And it's very much an aromatic pipe. Um, it's pretty much the only one I use for aromatics other than this guy. Uh, and it was very heavily smoked by my friend's dad. My d friend's dad passed away, and so he gifted me a pipe knowing that I was a fan of smoking. So it's got some sentimental value, which is nice. Um, this was another eBay find. It's a, It's got to be a Boots Shokan second. It's a uh, sandblast bulldog. Um, this one is my outdoors pipe when I'm camping and such. It looks kind of rugged, so I like it for that. And this is another... Uh, eBay find. This is a Boswell. Kind of a Canadian shape. I'm a big fan. It uh, it gets Englishes out of it because how could you smoke anything but a nice dirty English out of a pipe that looks like this. And uh, finally, this is a, a CAO Meerschaum that I got in New York last year. Uh, it's apparently supposed to look just like Henry Hudson. I think the resemblance is striking. Um, and I don't smoke it that much. I'm, I really prefer Briar over Meerschaum. This was my first and only Mir, and, uh, you know, it does the job. Uh, not my favorite, but he looks happy, so that keeps me happy. 